Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Apocalypse in our final Federation series. So we are moving pretty swiftly, I think, now that we have guaranteed the independence of the Holfier Coalition. I think we should be able to arrange for a Federation invite with them before too much longer. We've been building up diplomatic, um, you know, kind of approval with them for the past little while. And we also, I don't think we quite have the ability, nope, yeah, we haven't yet researched the ability to build a Vatherian power System plant, but once that option is open to us, we'll have better energy production on this new city. On this new colony, rather. Filthy beast, you have encroached upon our space for the last time. Withdraw immediately or we'll cleanse the stain upon the universe that is your worthless species. So, um... This is the stagnant ascendancy. I think they're upset that we... I don't. Ha I haven't made any claims on Onet Karak Redmond, but what I want to know is. Now I have to accept. So this is going to reduce our influence gain. Oh, that really sucks. Mm -hmm. So what did we just give up? I'm really confused. I'm guessing because we just finished, because we maybe claimed a system. Yeah, Research that's what it was. Concluded. That we were forced to put down that starbase. So we can't we can't put a starbase down right next to them. That's good to know. Alright, so let's go ahead and elect a new ruler here. Um so I guess our, our leader died. Chancellor Lucinda Baxter. What's going on here? Why do I not see the option? This is really strange. I mean, it, it doesn't matter because I don't have enough influence to, to do that. I'm, I'm confused as to why I don't have the option to re-elect our current ruler. Our current ruler is, is pretty good. She's got eye for talent. She's charismatic and destroyer build focus. I mean, that's not the best thing, but still. All right, so physics research. Let's go ahead and pick, I guess, um... Uh, yeah, let's go for power plant three before energy nexus. So that is a shame. I wish I had known that was going to happen. But now I know. I, I literally didn't know that's not something I've messed with too much yet. Completed. Let's get a power plant built there. Let's get a mining network built there. And then Sudair Prime. We'll upgrade that one more time. Sirius Prime, I can upgrade my physics labs on Earth and Sirius Prime. Situation and improve our has been updated. output. So Anjou has been elected as Chancellor of the, Uni of the Unified Solar Republic. So now Lucinda Baxter is back. And let's see. I think I do. I want to just put her on his old ship. All right, so we'll have to see what his mandate is in just a second. So which of these was going to look at the graveyard expedition? Was it you? It was you. Okay, so you can just come out here. I guess you can keep auto-exploring. That's fine. Lucinda's not going to live for much longer. She's one of the older scientists that we have. All right, so we've added this to our territory. Let's get the research stations built and then the mining stations next. It's not going to be too big of a setback, but research concluded. that is kind of annoying, that, that research drop. I still want to try and get to Cormagian if I can, but that, that might be the thing that prevents me from doing it. Okay. Mineral processing plant two. Tempting, but so is Star Fortress for that matter. I'm gonna go for Teldar Crystal Mining. If we have Teldar Crystals, that would be very useful. We do have terraforming gases, that's good to know. And we definitely are able to completed. start building on these as soon as possible. I just want to get this planet built up. The unstable climate on Skyke Prime has resulted in a severe drought that affects a significant portion of the moon. Colonists living in those regions have asked Earth for, fin for, asked Earth for financial aid to improve living conditions. So let's go ahead and give them energy credits. Not sure what's going on there. I'm guessing because it's, uh, it's an abandoned terraforming project. Highly unstable climate system and biosphere. Okay, because we dismantled the... The system that was on that planet. System survey concluded. Oh, nice. So we have a mineral bonus on Terra Z4, which is right next to Cormagian. 
All right, so I guess we can build a starbase there, but what I'd rather do, if I want to get Cormagian, I need to come up here. Like, I need to add this. We need to go straight that direction, because we can get it. We could even potentially get Terrazed 3 as well, which is a 17-slot uh, Alpine Special world. Project has concluded. Yeah, Duwix has officially been taken by the Space Foxes. All right, so that was the result of the Construction completed. Graveyard Project. And now you can auto-explore. All right, so the research agreement with the Hulfir has timed out. Let's get another research agreement going with them. Also, let's just see how we're doing relation-wise with them. Still not much better. So let's go for another trade deal. Make it a nice long one. And let's let's include some Let's confirm this. I guess maybe they didn't need resources when we gave them to them before. That helps your opinion of us. Okay. So now their well no, their acceptance is still rather low. It's the distance. Okay, so if we Colonize some systems. Okay, that's that explains it. So all we need to do is keep expanding in this direction, which is already part of the plan. That makes more sense. Let's get a star base built here. We need to get the Cormagian as soon as we can. Knowledge is the key to get those mining stations built. Core sector systems plus one. Good news. But I still need. Habitability plus 5 is really tempting, but growth speed plus 10% is the best one for me to go for right now, given the amount of colonization that I'm doing. Has what have we got? Ah, another war between the Eliminators and the Cartel. This could be the end of the Cartel. We'll see how that goes. I could really use them kind of staying put for the next little while. I'm going to leave that alone until we have that core world over here as my border. And that actually will help close the distance between us as well. So we're closing the distance in a few different spots. System survey concluded. Skyke Prime. You need a farm. Okay, let's start looking seriously at what we can add to our planets here. Because this is really something that would help. Alright, so we could do another trading hub around Saul, or we could add some defenses to this thing. I mean, I feel like some defenses are probably in order, because it's it is our home territory. So so we already have a crew quarters here. We could do an off-world trading company to improve the production of those, or we could do a fleet academy, which I feel like I want to do. And then Alpha Centauri, I want to have focused more on... I don't know, maybe the Weemall station. Oh, we don't have a Weemall station at the moment, do we? Maybe that one could be more on trade. Alpha Centauri may still need to be kind of defense-based, or, or maybe an anchorage with defenses. This is one way to improve our naval capacity as well. Completely forgot about this. Still getting used to... I know, I, if I... You guys have probably been saying in comments for a few episodes now, as a matter of fact, but I'm still getting used to this new addition as a way to improve naval capacity. I'm used to thinking in terms of research. And now... Yeah, let's go ahead and make this a, an anchorage, as opposed to a shipyard. We'll just make it an anchorage. And then we will have... The trading hub here, too. Same thing as, as Saul, actually. Let's do that, and then... I'll think more about the defensive buildings in a bit. So that will fix the naval capacity issue when those buildings are done. Construction completed. Which will also help with my completed. income. Should have done that a while System ago. System survey concluded. Frame rate's a little choppy right now for whatever reason. Galactic Polismus Empire has entered into a non-aggression pact with the Andagange Hive. Okay, let's take a quick look over here. Still not much better. I think it's it really is distance that's going to close this deal. Oh, we've got a couple of systems here. Build a starbase. And then you need to go to Cormagian and build Knowledge a starbase there the as soon as the possible. Alright, do we have any? No, we don't. Damn! <laughs> So let's go for Urantic Crystal Mining then. I mean, we could have some of that. That would make us more valuable as a trading partner as well. So it's part of the reason I want to go for those. 
again, we're not going to expand anymore over here until we have that planet, because that one is in imminent danger of being taken. Ironically, by someone that we want to be friends with, so I prefer not to let that be an issue. How's the Betria system doing? Can I go ahead and improve my income? Yes, I can. By turning their income up? Yes, I can. Good, good. That is better. All right, so that's going to start being added, and then we will have enough influence probably to add Cormagian immediately after that. We can add Terrazet as well. Not at the same time, because we won't have enough influence to do both at once, but at a very similar time. Oh, nice. All right, so this initial upgrade is done here. Now, I don't have the Batharian tech yet, do I? No, I definitely do not. That is confirmed. System survey You come completed. down here. Hey, did you hear me? There you go. Visitor center. Let's upgrade you. Construction completed. And we'll go ahead and get those food upgrades going as well. And I wouldn't mind an upgrade to the biolab, that's fine. And I do still have some genetic modification to do as well, don't I? What are we researching at the moment? Growth speed? Let's wait for that to finish. Once the growth speed is done, we're going to go back to ge genetically modifying the humans. Because we need to finish modifying the humans. Completed. We need to modify the humans entirely. Ah, looks like we've met one of the other... This might be a science enclave. We need to modify the humans entirely, and we need to finish modifying Knowledge the Hiram aliens. The to the what do we got? Power plant 3. Good. Wormhole travel. Also good. Or possibly bad. Depends. Subspace sensors and black hole observatory, barrier point defense. Let's go for subspace sensors. I do want better System sensor range. Survey concluded. Okay, I can go ahead and start upgrading all of these as well. Research concluded. And I think that was the growth speed bo uh, bonus right there. So we'll make another choice. Yep, that's what it was. So we can improve leader lifespan. We can improve a number of things, actually. Military Academy. What am I going to want first? Starbase capacity, probably. Let's go ahead and do that. But even before we do that, we're going to jump back to species. And we're going to officially apply this template to the humans. It's going to take 55 months. That's actually not that bad, all things considered. Because Ilse Sour, however you pronounce it, is pretty good. Let's go ahead and that star base. System survey concluded. She's a pretty good researcher for us. Oh, we have a couple of uh, construction ships here. Good to know. Knowledge yeah. is Split the them up. That'll be a little better. All right. Now, do we have any of that? No, we don't. Damn it. Ugh. All right. So, ooh. Yep, let's go ahead and go for better defense platforms because we're going to be adding those quite soon. Construction. Completed. We've been pretty lucky so far with how we have not been attacked. And I would like to keep it that way. Construction completed. All right. So we officially border. These guys, which means it should be a little bit easier now. We can form a defensive pack. There we go. So let's confirm. And we'll be able to invite them to a federation before long. What do we got? All right. So the Lock-in Mechanists are interested in a defensive pact. That's good news. So we can also... Or that might have been a non-aggression uh, non treaty, but that's fine. Construction completed. We are finally moving towards Construction our federation. Completed. Now that we are in range of that neighbor. Now let's go for a power plant here. And you know what? This world, well, they don't really have a ton of mineral output, do they? So I'm not sure that a mineral processing plant would help that much. Would it? Really wouldn't, I don't think. Apart from just having one there. So yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. All right, we'll, we will eventually have a Batharian stone power plant there, but what else can I build there in the meantime? There's a decent amount. Well, there's really not a lot of energy production here either, so I could do a stronghold on a Skykey Prime for the additional unity. Let's do that. And then meanwhile, we can do some additional buildings here on the Alpha Satori Station. Let's see what we can do. The Offworld Trading Company would give us a little better 
You know what, let's do Naval Logistics Office. We have met the Curators, that's good. Additional Influence, also good. And then the Target Uplink Computer is probably a good idea. Communications Jammer is what it, well, this is the Alpha Centauri Station. Let's do a Hyperlane Registrar because that's so central to our territory. I like the idea of them helping uh, ships move around a little bit more rapidly. All right, so the Zulukako are, they're researching this area here. There's also, ooh, wow, I never noticed that there's a black hole down there. Glad I spotted that. All right, let's go ahead and build a Starbase because we are going to have wormhole technology before long. All right, so, oh yeah, we're going to have pirates here all the time now. We're going to have to build a station in Mublar to defend against this. I didn't think about that, but that's going to happen quite frequently. So let's intercept them. Shouldn't take too long to get to them, but it's going to take us a second. Construction completed. Oh, that's a shame. We also need to get the TEM system. I forgot about that. Red alert. Spaceport under fire. All right, so right now the Fomalhaut construction ship actually can't get to the TEM system given that we need to get over there and clear those pirates We have first. lost a research station. You think? Thanks, game. I'm literally watching it happen. I appreciate the update. Construction completed. That's uh, very helpful information to me. All right, now you're done here. We need to add this to our territory. There's Tianqi space whales here, but they are not a threat to me at present. And build a starbase. Thank you. Completed. Good. Let's get those mining stations built. Yeah, we are in a really good position now with our starbases. So let's continue with the Sirius system. Now, the Sirius system, this is a straight up defensive starbase. So we are going to have. Let's go ahead and do two of each of these, and we'll eventually have some hangar bays on there as well. And then you will also have a. I'm going to do a target uplink computer and a defense grid supercomputer. Definitely need that for additional defense platforms. And then the Lavellicon system is very similar, but we don't quite have enough to... I think we have enough to go ahead and get it started, so I will, because that's going to help protect Saul. Need to wait for a little bit more income. Our income has dropped a little bit, given that we have to take out these pirates, which is fine. Cue those upgrades. Yeah, that power plant just finished building. System survey concluded. All right, so that starbase is building. Aha! Nice. So we are going to finish the diplomacy tree and get another ascension perk. So this will give us the amount we contribute towards the Federation naval capacity helps twice as much. Let's see. We could go for Engineered Evolution and get more Gene Modification points right now. Or we can go ahead and do Mind Over Matter and start down that Ascension path immediately. I kind of like that idea. We'd be Telepaths right now. Yeah, let's do it. Since the dawn of our civilization, tales have flourished of mighty sorcerers wielding powers that can only be described as supernatural in nature. These rare humans could supposedly invade the minds of their fellows, lift heavy objects with merely a thought, or perform any number of other magical feats. Until recently, these stories were just that. Stories. Now, however, our scientists have finally obtained conclusive evidence that proves the psionic potential inherent in certain human individuals. Although only a very small minority of our species as a whole seems to be gifted with psionic powers, their numbers relative to the total population have grown steadily over just the last few centuries. Whether this is due to some kind of sudden evolutionary growth spurt, or because something has triggered latent psionic abilities that were always present in our genetic code, scientists cannot say. So, certain pops in the Unified Solar Republic um, now have the latent psionic trait, the Psychor building is now available, and psionic armies can now be recruited. So, if we build the Psychor on Earth, remind me what that does. Yeah, that's unity. <laughs> and we need unity. So let's go ahead and replace... I've got a lot of extra society research, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that research station with the Psychor building. Oh, did we just... Did... did... Really? Really? 
Well, that I wasn't expecting that. But doing that at the same time that we were doing the System other, doing the genetic modification project, just completely nullified our progress. That's frustrating. I'm okay. Lesson learned there. I'm not going to let that happen again. But that is really annoying. Good lord. All right. Let's. Um, wow. Okay. So be it. How long is that modifier going to last? Humiliated uh, will expire in 1874 days. I'm going to let the starbase capacity mandate, or the starbase capacity research finish. And we're also going to go for our, our leader's mandate here. Should finish pretty soon. Okay, good. Our fleet has arrived in Banago. Yeah, one of the reasons that we we need to build a starbase here in Mublar. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and order it. We need to be able to defend not only against those guys, but against the Fallen Empire. I mean, it's going to be important. Do we have a science ship? Yeah, you're over here. Why don't you come Knowledge take is care the key of that, please? To the universe. All right, so defense platforms are now better as a result of that. Batharian power plant. Do it. Construction completed. As per Chancellor and Zoo's mandate, additional research stations have been constructed, and we are how close to another tradition? 73 months. Let's see if any of our leaders so far... Yeah, no one's latent psionic at the moment, but um, maybe that'll change. Construction completed. Yeah, no one is. No one is. Sadly. System survey concluded. Oh, the Multix block has insulted me. What did I do to you? All right, so the Benthruin cartel continues to make claims. And I want to go ahead and add some more systems to my territory here, but... I guess I was waiting to add this one, wasn't I? I should probably go ahead and colonize Cormagian 1A, and Terra Z for that matter. After a little bit more research, that'll be more habitable. An anomaly. We also have room for another core planet now, so what I could do is I could re-add Betria, or I could wait for... Actually, you know what? Unic 3. I'm going to have that be another core world. I've got a few star bases to build before I can add it easily. But I'm going to give the order. And that will be our next core planet. Makes the most sense, I think. Nice! Let's improve energy production, and that almost always goes through. Excellent. Okay, so we got a nice energy boost from that. And actually, I can start transmuting... I need to talk to a few of the traders here. I also need to talk to the uh, curator enclave. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a boost to our research. We would like to purchase that service. And then let's talk to the Mudagon Merchant Guild. They already have a good influence. Uh, we have a lot of influence with them, actually. And the Energy Crystals will give a better... Ooh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. No deal. Now, if I go ahead and transmute, if we go for Riggin Spice, we would like to trade for minerals. And let's trade in just 20 energy production. Let's do that. That is all. Now let's do the same with Zuricorp. My energy production, especially since I'm about to get Batharian Stone, is fine. I'm okay with keeping System it where it is. Concluded. Let me keep these ships here until this station is ready to go. Completed. Which it pretty much is. We also need the science ship to show up. Research concluded. All right, Batharian power plant is done, thankfully. Let's go for explosive weapon damage upgrades. Also, what are we looking at here? Yeah, Mudugan crystals. I knew that. We'll see what options we have available to us research-wise. And then maybe go back to the genetic Knowledge upgrade. I'm really annoyed that that universe. didn't go through. All right, so here we go. What options do we have? Psionic army. <laughs> Fleet command limits improvements. Um, also seems like a good idea. Biolab 2. Ah. Let's do Fleet Command Limit. I'm going to let that go for 20 months. And then when that's done, I'm going to go back to upgrading humans. 
And is this ship finally... Okay, good. This is finally being investigated. Seems like we're also maybe auto-exploring in this area as well. That's good news. Oh, someone has a materials expertise. Are we researching a materials project right now? Yes, we are. So, tell you what, you... Come here, and you take over. Excellent. Seamless. Completed. Completely seamless. When you pause and do that, it just happens automatically. It's beautiful. And I cannot wait to clear out the automated dreadnought, but we're not quite at that point. Let's take a quick look at these guys, though, because we're, we might be getting close. Yeah, 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 closer. Still not close enough. Might be able to do a trade deal with these guys, though. Let's see about a research agreement. This will help them a lot, but, I mean, it's it's good. It's a good thing. And we can guarantee their independence as well. Do I want to do that? Are they at war with anyone right now? They are target of Castus Belly from the Multix block. So we could say, hey, if if you attack, if the Multix block attacks the Lock and Mechanists, these guys attack the Lock and Mechanists, then you're going to deal with us too. But I don't know that we can successfully... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet. All right, they probably accepted. Yes, they did. All right, so the, the Ledelicon system, words. Target uplink computer, yep. And then defense grid supercomputer as well. And the Tawaris system is also going to need some pretty hefty concluded. upgrades. Target uplink and defense grid. What do we got? Better sensors? Good. I'm going to go ahead and research auxiliary fire control upgrades because those have been available to me for a while. And then we can go ahead and withdraw these guys. Did all of the upgrades go through? Let's take a quick look. Seems so, including our advanced computers as well, which is good to see. Still have plenty of extra energy. Again, one really easy way to tell that all of your upgrades kicked in automatically is just to look at the excess power that you have. If you have a lot of excess power, then you can reasonably assume that... Mm, that's fine. You can reasonably assume that um, all of the upgrades are currently on the ship that can possibly be there. All right, let's go ahead and design a new cruiser type, shall we? I have a missile bow. Let's make a missile cruiser. Just outright. I haven't done that yet. I haven't researched space torpedoes, I don't believe. I definitely want this to be a... Yeah, we can have it be at long range. Fusion missile based. I mean, the, the range on them is, is pretty substantial. And then we can have the railguns up front, UV laser on the side, and a big old railgun on the back. How about that? Followed by afterburners, just like their other cruiser buddy. those should be updated as well. Good. So this is going to be what? I kind of like Bellatrix class. That's not a bad idea. Metaris? I like that even more. Oh. This isn't... It's not a new design, though. This It's not an updated design. What are you talking about? Alright, so... Stop. Save. Okay. So now, once I have more naval capacity, I'll be able, or once I have more command limit, I have the naval capacity, really. Well, not really, actually. We'll add those type of cruisers to the fleet. System survey concluded. I feel so silly that I forgot about the anchorage being a, um, a means to... ...address that issue, as far as naval capacity. But I remember now. Uh, just one more missile battery will do.
Okay, good. Systems there really is nothing on going on out here. So th there's nothing going on in this Research area at all. So we should be able to lock all of this down. And we, we're building up a good amount of influence again. It's not going to be much longer that we have that penalty anymore either. All right, and it looks like we do have Aurelium Ore, which is great. We only have one, but that is a good step in the right direction. I will go ahead and stop this one here. Let me research. Let's see. Let's go ahead and research Garanthium Mining, because we have that too. That would be very useful. Once I have Command Limit upgraded, again, we are going to try and go for the upgrade to humans, the genetic modification project for humans. And we're also, as soon as possible, going to invite these guys to a federation. We just need to keep expanding that direction a little farther, which we'll be able to fairly soon, I think. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out. Oh, look what's happening to these guys. <laughs> yeah, we got some fun times coming up. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.